It's performance training with Coach Abdullah. Yes, it is. You're getting the ride along version today. And I'd like to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all my Muslim brothers and sisters all over the world. And I'd like to wish you guys uh, a beautiful, blessed month of Ramadan. Uh, again this year, I think this will be the fourth or fifth year that I will be training uh, before breakfast. Um, usually an hour, hour and a half before. And the workouts are usually between, I don't know, 30 minutes up to an hour, just over an hour, depending on what we do that day. And um, I'd just like to invite everyone to the channel, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more. Okay, so uh, why do I like training with fasting? Um, first, just give me let me let me give you a little brief thing about me and training and fasting. It first started out when I was a football athlete you know, uh, a scholarship football athlete at University of Idaho. Uh, it, that's when I became Muslim. So I was a young guy on the football team. And usually Ramadan, you know, ended up in the, uh, I want to say the winter months. So during that time, our football season, we're on the off season and we have what, what, what we call a winter conditioning. So um, during winter conditioning, I was a new Muslim. I was forced to basically adjust to basically having my last meal right before, you know, about four in the morning and then go and have to do winter conditioning, which is so hard. I'm telling you, winter conditioning, I've seen guys give up their scholarship. Uh, I've seen guys pass out. I've seen guys uh, defecate on themselves, urinate on themselves. And like I said, I've seen guys quit the football team because uh, here I have, um, I'd like to share a general advice uh, for Muslims specifically and people in general. Over the course of my years being Muslim, uh, of course, we run into this time of training and, and, and fasting. And just being in the gym in general, I see a lot of people, they are willing to work on themselves um, uh, physically, the outer appearance of themselves. And I just wanna say to people um, in this month, specifically for Muslims, and just as a goal, individual goal, if you're not a Muslim, let this be um, a mind, body, soul moment, you know? Um, focus on the three don't just focus on one thing uh okay fine you look good but your your brain is trash your your heart is trash you're not allowing yourself to grow and mature to cleanse yourself from filth from evil if we want to be realistic with one another no doubt there's evil in the world we there's no doubt we live in a, a very ugly world um, there's beauty in the world but at the same time there's a lot of evil and ugliness in the world and you have to be able to disconnect and cleanse your soul uh, if you want to be balanced healthy and sane uh, you fi I find a lot of people especially bodybuilders especially guys that are put in those you know steroids and different you know, uh, male, male growth hormone and peptides and all that other stuff. They're putting all that stuff in their body. Many times those guys are going through different psychological issues. Um, issues that, number one, they have to stop using those drugs. Number two, it's going to affect the spirit. It's going to affect your soul, your heart. Um, and I think anybody who's honest, who's done those drugs on and off or for years of amount of time or even on them right now, they'll tell you that they go through all kind of little uh, episodes. So I'm just saying use the month of Ramadan 
that's a, that's a specific note to those guys taking steroids because they're all around me in all the gyms and um, there's you know an unspoken animosity between me and the people who folk you know who are using those drugs because I'm just not a person that's into those drugs I've never taken them and I don't you know without the assistance of a, a specified doctor I don't think people should use them especially not for people who just want to lose weight or just look better or feel better about themselves steroids and human growth hormone are not going to make you feel better about yourself and the gains that you're going to get are, are temporary that's just the bottom line your job to really want to change your physical appearance is based on your lifestyle what are you eating how are you sleeping what is your training routine you gotta go and be willing to learn something and that's what a lot of people in this generation they're not willing to learn. They want the microwave uh, microwave uh, results, unfortunately. So I'll, in short, I know I rumbled and ranted. Uh, for the Muslims, please focus on your spirit. Use this time. This is the month of Rahmah. Use this time to cleanse yourself and to build yourself and to go into a stage of elevation into the next uh, year. And uh, I thank you guys for listening. And that's Coach Abdullah. Or performance training with Coach Abdullah. I'm driving right now. So everything doesn't come out right. <laughs>